Well, hello everybody. Brian with Plum Solutions. Uh, just addressing some more questions that got asked by builders and uh, some of the future homeowners. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about this thing here. Now, this is a shut off valve, and we put these in um, all of our houses most of the time there on a garage. Uh, I don't know if you can see it better that way. Um, and it's just a ball valve, and on top, we're going to have a pressure regulating valve or a PRV. And the question is, how come when I walk up to this thing, it's sitting like this sometimes? Flipped upside down with the water aiming downward. Well, this is your main shut off. Uh, this water line would go on out to the yard and go on out to the meter. This is something that we do uh, when there's something that's not hooked up in the house, like something plumbing has not been hooked up or done and we disconnect it like this so that if anybody was to try to turn it on it's just going to blow water down on your garage floor. Uh, and that's to protect the house because maybe we didn't get around to set in the toilet, maybe there's a tub that's not trimmed out, maybe there's just something and we don't want the potential possibility for a leak. So we flip it down like that uh, to keep the rest of the house safe because you're not going to hurt the garage floor with a little bit of water. If anybody walks up and turns that on, they're going to know about it. So, but that's the, basically um, why you would walk up and see it turn down like that. Now, when we come back and we finish the house and we finish out uh, setting all our fixtures and we've got everything, we're going to flop, flop that back up and crimp it and you're going to have uh, your water service restored. But here again, this is your shutoff valve. We put these in the garage. If you don't have a garage, you might find one in your laundry room or utility room, but you are going to have one of these. Uh, it is required by code that you have to have a shutoff pretty much before you enter the house, which would be right after the water meter. Um, we used to put these in the ground, but we don't put them in the ground anymore because even though this is a resilient seat ball valve and it's a stainless steel inside of a brass housing, um, it's not going to corrode or anything like that. But what happens is this handle here, that handle is just, it's just plain steel with a steel nut on a brass screw there. And in the ground, in a box like that, it can get moisture and it can start rusting and they will rust pretty quick and then you go to turn this thing on or off and that handle breaks on you and you're gonna you're gonna have to replace the ball valve and that's no fun but that's it this is a short easy one there um, on why you might see your shut off uh, disconnected and turned down uh, don't worry we're gonna fix the problem and we're gonna put it back together so thanks a lot guys